it was important to keep them together, um, especially being with the family. Um, that those that's a big part of us. We wanted to make sure that um, they stayed with the family. So the difference between kinship care and foster care is really just the fact that the children are very familiar with the people that are being placed with them. It's their aunts, it's their uncles, it's their grandparents. Um, and so the trauma to the children is so much less when they're with kinship families. Noah came to us at three days old. Um, and Annalisa and Diego were three and four. Three and four three and four, yeah. And we just, kind of, we fell in love. And it's hard, I remember my husband was like, we're just gonna help her out. Um, when she gets her stuff together, we'll return the kits to her. I'm like, try to return the kit now. <laughs> you know, I am just so um, proud of what Buckner has done for our kinship families. I think that part of what makes us unique is the history of what we've done through um, the 100 plus years of, what, um, of the history of Buckner. We have, worked with reunification, we've worked with adoption, and now we're getting to work in the realm of kinship care. The main reason for us is because we want to make sure the kids stay together. Um, we feel that they're already going through a hard time um, being removed from their parents or their family, and they only have each other left. And we want to keep them together. That's the whole reason we, we adopted the fourth child too. <laughs> The other component of what Buckner has really done is not just putting the time, the energy into our curriculum, into our funding, to our budget, to be able to provide assistance. We're bringing in volunteers to be able to provide support to our families. But then now we're looking at our preservation programs and how can they provide that support to our kinship families. Uh, Buckner is always there for us. If we have questions, if we have, we need help any kind of source, they're there. Mm -hmm. They're basically family, you know. Many of them are a little different than the Espino family. They may have a little bit more financial hardships, and so they need some more assistance. They may need job training. They may need ESL classes. And so we can be able to support them through the services that we already have through our preservation programs. And so that's the beauty of Buckner's Kinship Program is we not only have it on the, preserva the permanency side, but we also have it on the preservation side. So we're wrapping around the entire family. I would definitely do it again with Buckner. Buckner's support and their trainings, um, they were pretty extensive and but very informative and we thought i don't think we're going to need this but we definitely did down the yes. road definitely you know, needed that down the having road. four kids already thinking that yeah we got this yeah, yeah. at the same time like, i don't know it's, what <laughs> it's not the same it is not and the they same. prepared us for it yes um because we weren't expecting some of those things i think the thing that's unique about buckner is once you're a buckner family you're always a buckner family just saying if you're a newcomer coming in to this they basically have all the information that you need. And support. And the support, yeah. yes. Richard and Laura, they're amazing. Those kids are always going to be together. They're always going to see their family. They're going to always know who they are. We're not, we're not, um... Not heroes. We're not just, heroes, for sure, yeah. Family, yeah. <laughs> just family. We're family. Yeah.